Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. 45 Naga youths who had been arrested on May 15, 2024 under Section 66C and 66D of the Information Technology Act 2000 and Sections 419, 420, 467, 468, 471 and 120B of the Indian Penal Court were granted interim bail on Thursday, September 26 by the Punjab and Haryana High Court. The individuals had been employed at call centres operated by individuals from Gujarat and Maharashtra and were accused of sending fraudulent messages to foreigners and extracting money under various schemes. The youth had been imprisoned for the last four months in Naba District Jail in Punjab with both the Chief of Judicial Magistrate, CJM, and the District Judge rejecting the bail pleas. Social activist Cherian Momin on Thursday urged the state government to immediately appoint an additional teacher at Waramgre Lower Primary School under SSA. In a letter to the Education Minister Rakam E. Sangma, Momin said, currently the school is functioning with only one teacher who is tasked with managing all aspects of the school's educational delivery. This arrangement arose following the unfortunate passing away of one of the two teachers in 2019, which has left the remaining educator to carry the full burden of instruction, administration and student welfare without adequate support. This is not only a challenging scenario for the sole teacher, but also raises concerns about compliance with the Right to Education or RTE norms that mandate adequate staffing for effective educational practices. Hundreds of members and leaders of prominent pressure groups from the Khas Hills region of the state on Friday gathered in front of the Shillong Airport at Umroy in Riboy District to stage protests against the arrival of the Gao Dwaj Stapan Bharat Yatra leaders led by Jagat Guru Sangacharya Swami Shri Avimukateshwaranan Saraswati for their proposed cow protection rally in Shillong. Upon learning of the expected arrival of anti-cow slaughter rally leaders, the Khasi Students' Union, KSU, the Hinyotrep Youth Council, HYC and the Hinyotrip Integrated Territorial Organization, HITO, leaders along with their members rushed to the Shillong Airport to protest the Hindu leaders' visit. To prevent any law and order situation, Reboy District Administration deployed police teams and magistrates at the location around the airport. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has written to Union Minister Nitin Gadkari urging his intervention to resume the stalled construction works on the Majuli Jorhat Bridge. The construction has been on hold since September 5 this year, raising concerns about the project's timely completion. In his letter, CM Sarma expressed serious concerns over the lack of accountability from the contractor, UP State Bridge Corporation Limited, warning that further delays could jeopardize the entire project. He emphasized the strategic importance of the two lane bridge over the Brahmaputra River, which will significantly improve connectivity between Majuli and Jorhat. The project approved in 2021 under the Engineering Procurement and Construction or EPC mode is expected to be completed by December 2025 at an estimated cost of rupees 650 crores. Tourists coming into Shillong will now get a more welcoming, hospitable and memorable experience. This is happening as Shillong has been selected as a destination for Paryatan Mitra and Paryatan Didi by the Union Tourism Ministry. The Ministry of Tourism and piloted Paryatan Mitra and Paryatan Didi in six tourist destinations across India, namely Orcha, Madhya Pradesh, Gandhi Kota in Andhra Pradesh, Bodh Gaya in Bihar, Aizawl in Mizoram, Jodhpur in Rajasthan, and Sri Vijayapuram in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This was announced by the Union Tourism Ministry on Friday on the occasion of World Tourism Day. Barring Shillong, 49 more destinations in the country have been selected as destinations for Paryatan Mitra and Paryatan Didi. From northeast Guwahati, Dimapur, Agartala, Gangtok, Imphal have been selected as destinations for Paryatan Mitra and Paryatan Didi. Meghala government has emphasized on the need for a mission approach for tackling the cancer crisis. Speaking at a FICCI roundtable for Northeastern region held under the aegis of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India on the roadmap for making cancer care affordable and accessible in India. Mr. Sampath Kumar, Principal Secretary, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Meghalaya, said the state government has launched the Cancer Mission, a screening-based program focused on early detection and prevention and already screened individuals over 30 years of age in Khasi District. FICCI, recognizing the critical nature of the cancer crisis in India, established a multi-stakeholder task force in 2022 to focus on developing strategic solutions to address the growing cancer burden. Thank you for listening to our podcast. 
For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithel.